Dinosaurs from Outer Space, a future trilogy without the legacy cast, a never-ending series that keeps getting worse with every season. Let's face it, there are a myriad of ways the Jurassic Park franchise might take a turn for the worst. Life, uh, finds a way. It was no easy feat for the first Jurassic World film to be released. Ideas for a fourth installment have been bouncing around since the release of Jurassic Park 3 in 2001, with Spielberg's Amblin Entertainment commissioning screenwriters on multiple occasions throughout the 2000s. However, no story ideas ever got off the ground until 2012, when Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver were hired to pen the screenplay, utilizing some of Spielberg's ideas. Colin Trevorrow was hired to direct in 2013, rewriting Jaffa and Silver's draft with longtime collaborator Derek Connolly. Part of their contribution to the script involved cutting out previous cast members from the franchise, such as Laura Dern and Richard Attenborough. Trevorrow told IGN, I respect those actors too much to shoehorn them into this story for my own sentimental reasons. Their instincts paid off, as critics praised the film as one of 2015's best summer blockbusters. It goes to show that audiences appreciated Trevorrow's determination to do right by Jurassic Park fanatics, though it poses a big dilemma for any future continuation for the franchise. It would need the perfect combination of the right story, the right director, the perfect stars, and a healthy amount of fan service. Who knows how long that could take for all of those conditions to be met again. It's also fair to wonder if producers will continue to respect Trevorrow's desire to maintain the integrity of the franchise. We all know how Hollywood can be. They very well might brush him aside and assign someone else to helm the next installment. A hack who's more interested in swiftly knocking out a subpar screenplay for some cash and clout rather than giving the Jurassic Park canon the respect it deserves. I hate this hacker crap! Don't get us wrong, we know that critics and fans alike seem to agree that Trevorrow's trilogy as a whole is good, but not great. In the end, nothing compares to the original Jurassic Park. How'd you do this? I'll show you. The Lost World was pretty forgettable. Jurassic Park 3 was better, but also very meh, despite Sam Neill's return to the spotlight. Jurassic World appeased critics and the rest of us all the same, but leaned into some pretty silly ideas that linger throughout the new trilogy. Namely, Owen Grady's ability to train and befriend one of the most deadly and intelligent predators to ever exist on planet Earth. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom had the usual thrills, but was a narrative nightmare. Jurassic World Dominion killed at the box office, but was torn to shreds by critics. However, despite its shortcomings, it's pretty much a unanimous opinion that the highlight of Dominion is the inclusion of the original cast. Dr. Grant, you are? I'm, uh, I'm Owen Grady, big fan. I read your book. Well, book on tape. Their reappearances fit well enough into the narrative to not be cringy, and they add a nostalgia factor that was sorely missing from the first two installments of the trilogy. Nonetheless, though they were warmly welcomed back into the franchise, it sounds like Dominion will be their collective swan song. Let's finish this. Yeah. Speaking with Stuff about his decision to return and his thoughts on the future of Jurassic Park in general, Neil said, This may be the end of the franchise, I'm not sure, but it'll certainly be the last for us. When you consider how much stronger the trilogy is as a whole because of the original trio's inclusion, it's easy to worry about how future Jurassic Park movies would fare without relying on the legacy cast to tie the overarching plot together in the end. Keep in mind that Jeff Goldblum has implied in interviews that there could be more dinosaurs in the future, but it goes without saying that his appearance alone in a future installment wouldn't carry the same weight as the entire trio. If you don't agree, sit down and watch The Lost World again and get back to us. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is the original cast throwing in the towel, but so are some of the new mainstays of the franchise. According to Chris Pratt, his time as a Velociraptor training alpha male Owen Grady is up. Delta, I see you. Back up. He told Total Film, It's the perfect bookend to this franchise. As long as there's an opportunity for a brand to exist, there are probably going to be things. But as far as my involvement, to me, it feels like a great organic ending. This is definitely worrisome, being that the character of Owen Grady is more or less the centerpiece of Trevorrow's trilogy, alongside Bryce Dallas Howard's Claire Deering, of course. And according to Howard, she's done too. She told Total Film, I don't know what's possible from here, but it's the end of the road for my character, and for so many of these characters, in terms of it being the completion of our arcs, which is exciting and emotional and powerful and eventful. These are by no means empty words from either of the co-stars, as they're both booked up with future creative prospects. In 2023, Pratt debuted as the voice of one of the most iconic video game characters of all time, Mario, 
in Illuminations, a Super Mario Bros. movie. Judging by its box office success, it will be the beginning of a long future for Nintendo's most popular franchise. Oh, well, yeah, you say, Wahoo! It's a me! <laughs> Mario! Besides that, he's also expected to fill the role of the lasagna loving Garfield in an upcoming animated film, set to be released in 2024. Who knows, that might also take a step towards franchise territory if it ends up being better than previous attempts. Meanwhile, Howard has been moving towards directing over the past few years, with her feature directorial debut being the 2019 documentary Dads. Since then, she's directed episodes for The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, and is set to helm a remake of Flight of the Navigator. While it's silly to say that big-name actors like Pratt and Howard aren't capable of multitasking, it really does sound like they're done with dinosaurs. That being said, imagining a future Jurassic Park franchise without both the original cast and the two main stars of the latest trilogy is difficult to say the least. Many of the issues people had with the Jurassic World trilogy were in regard to how closely it followed the stories and events of the first trilogy. Of course, some of that is inherent to the plot which follows the employees and scientists who work for a dinosaur-themed amusement park that becomes a site of a disaster. You have to admit that though it's repetitive, it isn't unbelievable, considering how plausible it is for rich investors to make the same mistake twice and risk thousands of lives for no reason other than lining their pockets. Nonetheless, producers will have to explore other plot avenues if they want to fill up movie theaters and gross over a billion dollars again. The most logical and likely next step would be a continuation of the ongoing plot. So far, every installment in the Jurassic Park canon has sprung forth from the events of the original movie, so it would only make sense for filmmakers to continue on with this approach. While most of the major character arcs are tied off nicely in Dominion, there's still an entire world filled with dinosaurs to contend with and thus plenty of opportunities to use minor characters to perpetuate the franchise. Colin Trevorrow spoke with the rap about how even though he's keen on passing the directorial duties onto someone else, he hopes they'll work with what he's set up for them. He said, I think there's another director out there who's gonna look at this new world that we've created and hopefully consider the new characters that we've built in this movie, specifically DeWanda Wise's Kayla Watts and Marmaduke Arche's character Ramsey Cole and Deechin Lachman to be a gift. I think they're all amazing, and hopefully someone will be inspired and he or she can take this into the future. Besides the characters Trevorrow mentioned, there's also the possibility of assigning a major role to Jake Johnson's Lowry, one of the main sources of comic relief in Jurassic World. Damn it, Lowry, be a man and do something for once in your life. Why do you have to make it personal? He likely would have had plenty of screen time in Dominion had it not been for the pandemic. In case you don't recall, his character's absence was explained away very briefly when Franklin explains to Owen and Claire that Lowry, along with others we met in the first film of the new trilogy, were hired by the CIA. Ultimately, the question is, are any of these characters interesting enough to build an entire new installment around? Opinions may differ, but it's not out of line for us to worry about such an approach ending up flaccid in the end. Another possibility is that producers may scrap the idea of pursuing a new installment of the film franchise altogether. Given the lackluster box office performances of numerous big-budget franchises these past few years, it's possible that producers will view the financial success of the Jurassic World trilogy as a happy accident and err on the side of caution this time around, by letting the dinosaurs run amok in an ongoing series instead. They've already tried this out to some extent with Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, which debuted on Netflix in 2020. Five seasons later, the animated series has come to an end, most of its content coinciding with the events of the Jurassic World trilogy. It's very possible that producers will petition for a live-action series that delves into the dinosaur-infested world that the Minion left us with. If they go this route, the possibilities for new complications and new characters will be pretty much endless. However, we all know how often TV series sour and crumble if they overstay their welcome, so it's perfectly sensible to worry about one of the most beloved franchises of all time being stretched and mutated beyond recognition for the sake of soliciting new streaming subscribers. If the reality of a Jurassic World TV series comes to pass, we can only hope that producers take Harvey Dent's philosophy into consideration and end it all on a high note. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And don't forget about the opposite end of the spectrum, where showrunners pull the plug before it makes sense to do so. That's a whole different brand of nightmare. All level-headed postulation aside, there's definitely a less optimistic side of us that worries about the franchise veering off into outlandish realms. You can't deny that Owen Grady being able to train velociraptors and lead them on a hunt in the jungle while riding a motorcycle is a pretty far leap in terms of plausibility, when compared to the events of the initial Jurassic Park trilogy. 
Who's to say that the team behind whatever comes next won't take some extreme creative liberties and push the story beyond the limits of reasonable expectations? Sure, this sort of cash-grabbing dive into the absurd is more common with horror franchises than anything else, such as Halloween, Hellraiser, Friday the 13th, and Saw to name a few. But what about the Fast and Furious franchise? There we have an example of a franchise very much rooted in reality. But eventually, we see Dom and the gang jump cars over nuclear submarines and fly cars in space and all other sorts of shenanigans that almost render the original film unrecognizable. Who's to say that this will never happen to the Jurassic Park franchise? While Fast and Furious fans largely seem to be okay with leaning into increasing levels of narrative madness, the same probably can't be said for us dinosaur diehards. Even though the science behind Jurassic Park has always been a little wonky, we still don't have to will ourselves too hard in order to suspend our disbelief. Imagine an endless string of yearly Jurassic Park installments that continually subvert our expectations, with plots that involve all-out war with hyper-intelligent raptors from space. Or the emergence of a biotech company that's found a way to crossbreed humans with dinosaurs for the purpose of carrying out nefarious missions around the world. Laugh or scoff all you want, but that last one was actually in the works at one point, before Jurassic World came to be. There's concept art and everything. It's a crazy world out there. And the Jurassic Park franchise is anything but safe from extreme levels of exploitation and creative tomfoolery. Let's just hope it remains sacred, if for no other reason than pure luck or disinterest.